Ever since the Fed's first announcement of quantitative easing, Jackson Hole has become a notorious meeting place for central bankers, economists, and anyone who can move around giant piles of cash with no problems at all. So it's perfect for Rolls Royce. This is the 2014 Rolls Royce Wraith. It's a 6.6 liter twin turbocharged V12 power plant that drives this behemoth from 0 to 60 in a mere four and a half seconds. There's a lot of wealthy individuals, a lot of investors come into town. There's a lot of conferences going on, and this is uh, really a good place to get some of these individuals behind the wheel of a Rolls Royce. Brand like Rolls Royce is never going to be advertised on TV. You won't see that running during the Super Bowl. But what we need to do is we need to expose our brand, make it approachable to people that uh, can afford the car, and also get them to drive the car. It's been mostly the German car makers involved in what's called experiential marketing. Mercedes has provided cars and drivers to players and fans at many of the tennis events around the world, and Audi is ever present at ski competitions, also at Davos. But the Italians have been in the mix as well. Maserati has been providing pop-up dealerships for test drives at wealthy ski resorts. And Ferrari has been bringing cars and customers to the track in its Ferrari Challenge. Rolls-Royce shows that guerrilla marketing is not cheap. It's still done all of the traditional advertising that it would have done anyway. But it's produced 18 handmade prototype rates in order to bring to customers in places like Jackson Hole. It has, however, been extremely successful. 70% of orders for the $300,000 rate come from brand new customers who have never before bought a Rolls Royce.